Hello and welcome back to the History of Football Manager, my 2023 Advent series. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are going back all the way to Football Manager 2011. Uh, thank you very much for the support on the series so far. Really looking forward to getting into it today. And uh, of course, with a Football Manager 2011, there was in fact an Arsenal edition. So that is the the edition we are going to be checking out today so i'm looking forward um to that hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy it as well i do have the uh, the normal physical version as well to go along with it um really looking forward to getting into it but first of course we have today's panini countdown calendar to open i'll see you in the future of about five seconds Day six of our Adrenaline XL countdown calendar is about to be opened. So without further ado, let's get into it and find number six, which is sat right in front of us today at Sheffield United. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so the seal has been broken. Let's reveal what we have got today. And what do you know? It's another pack of cards still evading those golden ballers and that Kieran Trippier excellence card. But let's crack ourselves into the pack. Okay, there is our digital pack for today. First come, first served, of course. And here are our findings. So we have got Connor Roberts for Burnley, Rico Lewis for Manchester City, uh, Cairo Matoma for B uh, Brighton and Hove Albion, the Fulham lineup, and then we have got Mudrich, uh, Ultrasonic, that's an awesome card, that one, and uh, Brennan Johnson, Game Changer. We will be back tomorrow for day seven, so make sure you don't miss it. Okay, so here we are, um, about to get into the game. I've had to fiddle around with some settings and, and whatever to actually get this to work. But of course, uh, there's two um, versions of this that I own. I've got the Arsenal edition, which apparently you could only buy in um, Arsenal stores. I don't know if any other uh, clubs did editions. I have got the 2010 edition for that as well. Um, do let me know down in the comment section if all clubs did that or was it just Arsenal um, and then of course we have the normal Football Manager 2011 um, box art and, and this is a game I'm, I've not played for a very long time still did have uh, manuals in there and that sort of thing which is uh, really really cool to, to look back on but uh, yeah it's going to be weird I'm going to be looking at this screen for today um, and it's uh, video so here we go then uh, let's get ourselves into uh, the action and you can see it, it looks really nice you've got the Arsenal edition there would be uh, would have been a nice touch if you'd had Arsene Wenger up there in the right um, but let's uh, head straight into a new game then and uh, yeah let's see what we have got so you can set up I mean this looks very very familiar to, to what we have uh, at the moment we, we've got uh, all of the, the different nations of course you can be um, in England uh, we will move on to the next one end power league two of course we'll uh, put it down to the blue square bet uh, north south but i'll tell you what getting this game working it, it's been the hardest one to, to get working so far and that's saying something when we have been going back much further than this but let's see how long it takes to set up a game of football manager 2011 on modern software um having to use windows 7 compatibility settings as well um to to get this to install so that is a little tri tip for you guys if you are trying to install the, the box version of this but look at that that was awesome uh, how quick that was and i'm fairly sure it will not let me have my birthday this time um Oops, September, and oh, it does. It does let you. I swear it never used to let you do it, but <laughs> it will let me. It will let me. Right, favourite team. Um, will it allow me to pick anybody? Yes, Newcastle. Um, Sunday League football, of course. Uh, I like. Uh, used to like uh, professional football. I used to be able to have um, address me as in there as well. YouTube login, Twitter login. Out of date now, of course, but um, 
still very cool nonetheless. Uh, let's uh, move forward. And Arsenal do have their badge in the Arsenal edition. They do have it. So I feel like it's only right that we do take a charge of Arsenal. So let's get into it. And uh, the game isn't saved. I'm not bothered about that. We've got the advisor there. Um, let's get rid of that one. And we're playing Hull City in the first match. That'll be cool. But look at this uh, opening screen. Looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, you, you look back at this and think, why isn't it like this now? Um, this just this was such a cool little hood, and then there's a calendar at the top as well. So we've got our profile, personal manager options, social network options. You've got the news here. So this is our inbox. Uh, Peter Hill Wood was still the um, the chairman back then. Uh, let's view the summary finances. So you can see there. So we've got fifteen million pounds. In the transfer budget, I'll be interested to, to have a look at the Arsenal squad actually uh, back then. So Arsenal, a background, obviously doing very, very well uh, back then. Uh, Wellington Silva is due to complete his 3.5 million transfer from Fluminense in January. Uh, the other legacy from Arsene Wenger's will be the sign of Emiliano Martinez from Independiente. Okay, Coquelin, wow, Nasa Bazar Barazite. Uh, Kyle Bartley, Sanchez Watt, and Samuel Galindo. We can meet the staff, and obviously all of this looks pretty similar to what it is uh, these days. You've got the Pat Rice uh, doing the team report there. Manuel Almunia, apparently the best goalkeeper. Sebastian Scalacci, very, very funny that there. Thomas Vermaelen, Gail Clichy, Andre Alshavin. Wow, what a name. Cesc Fabregas, Abu Dhabi in there. Marouane Shamak and Robin Van Persie as well. Okay, uh, start of season expectations. So they want us to qualify for the Champions League. But let's go and have a little look at the Arsenal squad then. Um, so Lucas Fabianski and Manuel Almunia as the um, goalkeepers. Then at right back, you've got Bakary Sangnia. You've still got Emmanuel Abue down there, Kieran Gibbs, Gar Clichy uh, as left-backs. And centre-backs, you've got Laurent Koscielny, Johan Juru, uh, Scalacci and uh, Vermalen. And then you've got uh, Danielson, uh, Fabregas, Rosicki, uh, Arshavin, Samia Nasri, Jack Wilshire, of course, Abu Diaby uh, in the middle of the park. And then you've got Van Persie, Walcott, Carlos Vela, Marouane Shamak and Lord Bettner himself uh, as the strikers. And what's really nice is that you've got all of the faces uh, for the Arsenal players as well, which I find really, really cool. Um OK, let's have a look at the Premier League back in 2011 then. Aston Villa uh, were in their Blackpool, of course. Ian Holloway's Blackpool team, they were the, the, the fun side that year, weren't they? I think that was possibly the year Bolton went down as well. Uh, really cool. And then if you go down to the End Power Championship, you can see uh, plenty of classic teams there. Doncaster up in the Championship back then. I think they're in, are they in the National League now? possibly. Um, and as you go down the leagues, you can see the, the sort of teams that are down there, which uh, is all well and good. Right. Uh, let's have a little look at some transfers. Then if we look at the search, you've got Hugo Lloris there, Gigi Buffon. Um, let's have a little look at the filter. You know, I always like to have a look at the, the free agents of the time. Um, we'll get rid of the unrealistic targets thing. And uh, I'd always tend to, to view it by international. That tends to find the, the sort of most famous player. Sylvan Wiltord in there. Uh, how old is he in this? 36 years old, of course. Former Arsenal player. Uh, Patrick Muller in there. Robert Perez. Rivaldo. It's really cool to see some of these uh, players back then. Is that better? It's, well, it's not going to be Beto, is it? Not the actual Beto from uh, Everton. It, it, that was just a, a, sl a slight moment in weakness. You've got Rivaldo in there. I mean, he's 40-odd by this point, 38. <laughs> Robert Perez, I mean, he's 36. I think, did, did he go and sign for Villa, possibly, um, that season? Yeah. 
Not entirely sure. Right. Well, as I did yesterday, I think we've got to, to go and search for Mr. David Beckham, haven't we? Um, so if I can edit that, delete that, add condition, person name, Beckham. Um, and there he is. He is injured at the moment, though, uh, for four weeks and... Eight weeks. I'd like to get Thierry Henry back as well. I bet you he's at the, the, the Red Bulls, isn't he? Um, so we'll give a million pounds to LA Galaxy. Ah, oh, oh, there's a search up here. So if we go into Thierry Henry, surely he's got to be up there. Apparently not. Um, and it was obviously the season after this that he went to uh, actually... Um, play for Arsenal on loan ok so we'll give it uh, £2 million and we'll see if we can get him ok let's try £3 million or three and a half. and these were the old uh, offers they negotiate, they want that ok let's uh, negotiate that down to £1.3 million that looks good I'm going to decline the media Snubs Media, there you go. We don't want the inter-squad uh, friendly. I want to play a hole in the first match. Um, what are they, five and a half million? Okay, that's fine by me. Um, but I feel like he's not going to join because he's just joined them. Let's see. What does he say? Oh, he's not interested. Beckham's not interested for some reason. Okay. What about Henri? Oh, no, he's not interested. Damn. Oh, that would have been awesome. Looking at the possibility of taking up... Uh, oh, he's looking at it to say the rest of his career at the club. Damn. What about Michael Owen? Is he still knocking about? Uh, I mean, he's probably still at Manchester United at this point. Uh, yeah, Michael Owen... Yeah, he is still at Man United, funnily enough. That's funny. £50,000 per week, £2.1 million estimated value. But let's um, let's maybe push this forward then. Can we find the, the match against Hull? There you go. Right, if we go on holiday to Len, and then we'll, we'll go and play the match against Hull City... And uh, we'll see what the tactics are like and see what the 3D matching, uh, match engine is like. That, that's something I'm really curious about, actually, is how will the, the 3D match engine look? So Everton have signed Robert Perez. There you go. So he is a decent player. Junior Hoylett. Oh, no, it's not. It's David Hollett. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Lewis offers. I mean, there you go. I mean, people are saying, you know, that these intermediary offers that they're, they're not new. This is this is a recycled feature. Darius Vassell from Wolves in the Premier League. I don't think Darius Vassell is good enough for the Premier League anymore. Okay, I mean, I mean that's a very interesting move, isn't it? Right, let's uh, continue on then. Right, here we go. So this... Oh, wow. Look at the tactics screen. I don't think you, you were able to... Yeah, you, you, they, they've got player roles um, now. So they've got advanced forward there. So we're going to have... Um, well, what, what, what formation are we going to play? Should we have a little look at, at that? Uh, so set to formation. Probably a 4-2-3-1. Not that one, though. Um... Yeah, probably something like that, but actually move these forward um, like so. Oh, goodness me. Oh, dear. What, what What's going on here? Right, back to the players. Um, oh, for God's sake. Right. Get off. I don't... Cancel. Yes. I don't know why this is not working. Right. Um, Manuel Almunia will start in goal, and he will be... A goalkeeper, but sweeper keeper was on there. I can't believe sweeper keeper was there back then. We're going to have uh, some attacking wing backs, uh, ball playing defender. I, I honestly can't believe that these were in the game 
back then, we're going to have a box to box and a deep line playmaker on support. Um, you can't have an inside forward there, can you? Yeah, inside forward on attack. Obviously, they didn't have inverted wingers back then. Yeah, attack midfield on support and then advanced forward on attack. That looks good to me. Right. So, uh, we want Vermaelen in defence. We want Koscielny. I think Koscielny is a, a very good player. We're going to have Sangne on the right. We're going to have Clichy on the left. Then uh, Cesc Fabregas is going to be our deep line playmaker. Um, Andrea Chavin. Apparently wants to be in the centre, so he can go in the centre. Rosicki, he will also want to be in the centre, but I could play Rosicki a little bit f deeper. Uh, Sami Nasri can play on the left. Oh, for God's sake. This is just really weird. Right, Sami Nasri can play on the left. Who are we going to play on the right? Theo Walcott on the right, and then Robin Van Persie is going to lead the line. And I think that's a pretty good team, to be honest with you. Jack Wilshere's pretty good. I mean, he's probably hard done by to not end up in the team. But that looks good to me. Right, now we need to go on team instructions. So philosophy, we're going to be fluid. We're going to be a t attacking, passing style. Um, default, creative freedom. Now, closing down, press more. Uh, marking, that's fine. Cross, we'll float our crosses and we'll roam from positions. Primary playmaker, Cesc Fabregas. That's, that all looks good to me. Oh, we don't want uh, offside trap. Where, uh, hang on, where's offside trap? Please let me get rid of offside trap. How do I get rid of that? Um... Uh, advanced. There you go. No, we don't want that. Yeah, we want that. A little bit higher, but not too too high. Everything else looks pretty good. Right, submit the team. Let's get ourselves into it, folks. And folkettes. Uh, playing Hull City away from home. Nick Barnby still playing for them. Tom Kearney. Uh, by the looks of it, Ian Ashby, Jimmy Bullard, of course, Nobby Solano. Has he just signed for them? I don't remember Solano playing for Hull. What a signing that is if they've just signed him. Paul McShane, Ayala are in there, Matt Dukingal. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, opposition instructions. We will ask the assistant to do that. That's fine. Team talk. This is what team talks used to be like. <laughs> Nout special. Um Ask the side to show you why they deserve it. Okay, that's cool by me. Right, let's play. And of course, it's uh, fairly loud. Oh, what's going on here? Right. Um, where are the camera angles? Can we see them anywhere? Is it there? No. I remember I used to have the stats on the left. Um, needs to have something else on the right. Oh, I honestly don't remember now. But yeah, how do you change all of this? Match view controls, there you go. So we're going to have TV. And to be fair, this looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, want that up a little bit. And then you've got vertical s scrolling, you've got elevated, uh, zooming, zoomed vertical scrolling, behind corner, sideline, which is still uh, pretty much the one I like, and then you've got touchline. Oh, Hull have scored. That's not what we wanted. That's against the script, everybody. Yeah, we don't want to be in main stand. And then you got 2D. And 2D Classic, of course. Right. Um, how do you skip the replay? Okay. Right, Hull. Hull look pretty good, don't they? 
Yeah, long throw into the middle, header away by Koscielny. Okay, uh, Dawson. Oh, it's Robin Van Persie with a chance. Good save from the goalkeeper, but it does, you know, it still looks pretty decent. Um, this, considering it's 12 years old now. Um, aha, that's what we want, isn't it? But yes, you can go into sort of TV show setup. And there's the chance. Andre Arshavin puts it in to the back of the net. Very good. And you could, of course, have um, split view. That's mainly how I used to watch it. And there was uh, Andre Arshavin. Beautiful finish from him. And it's uh, now Hull City 1, Arsenal 1. Right, team talk at half-time. You are not good enough. Okay. Into the second half we go. Right, here's our uh, Robin Van Persie. It's our shove in. Oh, oh, it's a penal, Jeff. Oh, Walcott had his shirt pulled, apparently. And it is going to be, I think, uh, Robin Van Persie that's going to step up and see if he can put it into the back of the net for us. Here he goes. Van Persie steps up. Oh, he's missed it. And it's cleared. Damn it. I assume that's end of highlight. Yeah, very disappointing that. Okay, throw Fabregas into the middle. It is headed away now. Here we go then. And here's Nasri with a great chance just wide. Uh, instructions click to issue instructions ooh yeah I was going to say get ball forward right, come on boys into the middle of course and it's 2-1 hole <sighs> dreadful dreadful stuff <laughs> uh, yeah how do I get rid of the sounds I have to get rid of the sounds it's just too noisy it really is right get rid of that that's cool and into the match now and we can enjoy the rest of the match from here but uh, Hull City 2-1 up and although I've got a soft spot for Hull City this is not what I wanted here Sangnia on the ball. Oh, and that's a foul. It is going to be a free kick, and it's going to be Andre Arshavin that whips it in there and looking for the header of possibly Gala. Uh, no, Galas. Galas doesn't play for us anymore. Koscielny over Marlin. It's going to be Ar Arshavin who whips it in. It is headed away. Here's Koscielny now. Koscielny into the middle. It is cleared. Here's a Bakary Sangnia on the ball. Gets it to Fabregas. Here's uh, Walcott on the right-hand side. Can he whip it in now for a cross? Walcott finds Fabregas. Here's Rosicki with a great shot, but it's just wide, unfortunately. All right, going to up the speed of the match now. Oh, my God, what a goal that is. That is truly, truly ridiculous from Jimmy Bullard. Look how far out he is, and he curls it round into the back of the net, and it's Hull City 3, Arsenal 1. I thought Arsenal would be overpowered in this because it's the Arsenal edition of the game. But anyway, it is uh, put forward. One minute of injury time to be played. Are we at least going to get one back here? Let's find out. It's going to be Andre Arshavani whips it in. Oh, header over the bar. And it is another corner. And uh, Is it just me or do the refs look like goalkeepers? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a goalkeeper with a flag on either side and a goalkeeper just stood in the middle there. And there. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought that. Um, it's, it's whipped in again and it is cleared. And I think this is the match-ending highlight. 
that we used to absolutely despise. Nasri, Fabregas, it's Sangnia now, and that's full time. Well, what can I say? We didn't do very well there, did we? Ask the assistant, not good enough. Really not good enough. Um, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, of course, it is always just a little flavour in these videos. But that is Football Manager 2011, the Arsenal edition, which I think is, is really cool. And I think it makes sense that maybe down the line we'll do a proper Arsenal save when we're going to go through Football Manager history and do a, at least a save on each of the Football Man Manager iterations. I just think it's a pretty awesome thing that Football Manager did and you know got the Arsenal licences in there. And if you were an Arsenal fan back in 2011, then jobs are good. And I've just waxed myself in the face with it. You know, don't do that. That's not what it's designed for. But um, yeah, really, really cool. I'll just read you uh, the back of the uh, the page, and you can see the the, the differences in the uh, in the the, the sort of. Um, the UI, if you like, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, I will read you it. You can sort of follow along with me. Football Manager returns for the new season, bigger and better than ever. Sports Interactive have added to and improved the world's best-selling football management series, bringing more realism and immersion to your quest for glory. Um, with all the, over 50 playable countries to manage in and full uh, control of all aspects of the club, it's time to put your opinions to the test. New for 2011, match preparation allows you to train your team in specific areas, showing the world your success by publishing your achievements in the new manager's room and on social networks. Live contract talks bring negotiations to life, so uh, the whole thing of I'm not interested in your discussion. Obviously, that's a, a thing still in Football Manager 2000. 2024. Better than ever before, the most intuitive training in Football Manager ever allows you to focus on individual training with a single instruction in 14 areas. Match experience, new graphics, all of that. Take your players aside and talk to them in private. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is Football Manager 2011. Do let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you remember any particular saves that you had on Football Manager? It's great to share all of our experiences and our nostalgia for the wonderful world of Football Manager. So if you have enjoyed that, then give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.